Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel study with me. Today I'm going to talk about prediction question for higher level paper 2. It is not guaranteed 100% this question will be appear in the exam. Instead, you can um, think that this is as a, like a mock exam to check whether you are ready for the exam or to check what kind of topics that you're still struggling with so you can go back and then do some revision on that particular topic and if you find this video is helpful please don't forget to subscribe and let the other friend knows about my channel to support me and let's get started a solution of calcium chlorate is prepared in 150 centimeter cube of water the resulting solution has a concentration of 0.1142 molar. Determine the number of moles and the mass of calcium chlorate present in the solution. So we can calculate first the mole which is C times V. So 0 0.1142 times 0 0.15 that would be 0 0.01713 mole. And to find the mass it's mole times MR which is 0 0.01713 times 206.98 molar mass of this CaClO3 2 then you will get 3.546 gram the calcium chloride solution made above is then mixed with 200 centimeter cube of 0 0.07500 molar sodium phosphate producing a precipitate of calcium phosphate. Write the net ionic equation for this reaction, including state symbol. So that would be only Ca3 plus plus PO4 3 minus produce CaPO4 2, which is solid. This one aqueous and this one aqueous. So this should be 2 and this should be 3. So what will happen with uh, the another um, ion like Na and uh, yeah like Na? So um, the products of the double replacement reaction for Na would be NaClO3, but it does not participate in produ in producing Ca um, should be three here ca3po42 of calcium phosphate so that's why we don't write it here determine the limiting reactant in this reaction showing your work so there is a reaction between calcium chlorate with sodium phosphate producing calcium phosphate and sodium chlorate so the reaction or the equation would be ca ClO3 2 which is calcium chlorate will react with sodium phosphate producing calcium phosphate and sodium chlorate so this should be 3 and this should be 3 as well so as we already did the calculation before the mole of calcium chlorate it's 0 0.01713 so we can calculate also the mole of um, sodium phosphate which is 1 over 3 times 0 0.0713 so I would just write the answer here which is 0 0.0086 to determine which one is the limiting reactant you need to be careful that 0 0.0086 is for one molecule of sodium phosphate but 0 0.0713 is for three molecules of calcium chlorate therefore for one mole of calcium chlorate is 0 0.0075 which is smaller therefore the limiting limiting reactant is calcium chlorate 
if five if one point five three five gram of calcium phosphate is recovered, determine the percentage yield in this reaction. So we need to find the theoretical yield, theoretical yield of calcium phosphate is n times mr. As we already know, this one is the limiting reactant. So to find the mole here, we need to refer to the limiting reactant, which is 1 over 3 times 0 0.01713 times molecular mass of calcium phosphate, which is 310.18. That would be 1.77 gram. This is for the theoretical yield. So percentage yield will be 1.535 divided by 1.77 times 100. That would be 86.87%. Like calcium, magnesium is an element in group 2 of the periodic table. State the full electron configuration of magnesium, which is 12. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s2. Explain how successive ionization energies can prove that magnesium is in group 2 and period 3 of the periodic table. So there will be there will be a large increase in ionization energy 2 between ionization energy 2 second ionization and third ionization energy which shows that there are two electron in the outermost shell it means it group uh, it means this magnesium mg is in group 2 and there are two significant increase energy between second and third and tenth and eleven right ten and eleventh so showing it is in period three as there are three distinct energy energy level so there are three distinct energy level it shows it uh, it is in the period three State an equation for the reaction between magnesium oxide and water and comment on the pH of the resultant solution. So the reaction of magnesium oxide when it reacts with water, it will produce MgOH2 which is base so the pH would be bigger than 7. By referring to their relative ionization energy strength, compare and explain the metallic behavior of magnesium to calcium and beryllium. Values from the data booklet are not required. Okay, so it's in if it's in a periodic table, that would be Be, Mg, and Ca. So calcium will have the biggest atomic radius tends to remove electron easier easier or tends to lose i would say lose electron easier thus it requires less ionization energy promoting more metallic behavior why ca has uh, the biggest atomic 
radius because as you go down a group number of electron increases number of shell will increase of course the atomic radius will increase as well using section 1 2 and 8 of the data booklet calculate the wavelength of light required to remove an electron from magnesium atom so when we refer to the data booklet section 8 Okay, so the ionization energy, first ionization energy of Mg, it's 736 kilojoule. So to calculate the um, energy, it will be 738 times 10 to the power 3 divided by Avogadro's number because it should be per 1 mole or 1 photon. So times 10 to the power 23, so it will be 1.23 times 10 to the power negative 18 joule per photon okay and then V would be E divided by N which is 1.23 times 10 to the power negative 18 divided by this is should be H okay plan constant 6.63 times 10 to the power negative 3 you get 1.85 times 10 to the power 15 second or hertz and as you know c equals to lambda times frequency so to calculate lambda c divided by frequency which is speed of light divided by frequency 1.85 times 10 to the power 15 you get 1.62 times 10 to the power negative 7 meter. Ethanoic acid has a boiling point of 118 degrees Celsius and it's soluble in water. The structural formula of ethanoic acid is shown. State the strongest type of intermolecular interaction formed by ethanoic acid. It has OH, so that would be hydrogen bonding. When ethanoic acid dissolves in water, it reacts to form an ethanoid ion. Write an equation showing the resonance in the ethanoid ion. Include in it the structural formulas for, do, for the two resonance structure showing all charges and non-bonding pair of electron. So that would be the equation for CH3COOH aqueous react with water liquid producing ch3 coo minus aqueous plus h plus aqueous so ch3 coo minus so this would be and this one and it will be the same with negative, negative here. Explain how the dissolution of ethanoic acid in water increases the electrical conductivity of the liquid. The electrical conductivity increases as ethanoic acid dissolve producing ions in solution that can carry current an electrical current can be conducted if Mobile ions are present in the solution. They move between electrodes in response to the applied potential different. The solution of ethanoic acid increases, so the amount of mobile ion will increase as well. So it will increase the electrical conductivity. State how the hybridization of the oxygen atom change when the C single bond O bond of ethanol is converted to the C double bond O bond of ethanoic acid c double bond c single bond o okay 
here it has four domain one two three four so c single bond o it's sp3 and this one it's only one two three domain c double bond o would be sp2 state how the electron domain geometry of the oxygen atom changes when the c double c single bond a uh, C single bond O bond of ethanol is converted to the C double bond O bond of ethanoic acid. C single bond O is tetrahedral because it's four domain, and C double bond O is trigonal planar because it's three domain. Ethanol and ethanoic acid can react to form ethyl acetate. The Lewis structure of ethyl acetate is shown. The C O C bond angle is 115.7 degrees suggests how the C O C single bond angle indicates that the hybridization of the oxygen atom it's between sp2 and sp3 you need to know if it's sp the bond angle it's 180 degrees celsius which is linear sp2 it's 120 degrees Celsius, which is trigonal planar, and sp3, it's 109.5, which is tetrahedral. So we can find the exact number, we cannot find the exact number, but it is in between 109.5 degrees and 120 degrees. So there are four domains around oxygen, atom COC because there are two lone pairs right here as it suggests that between sp2 and sp3 it looks tetrahedral geometry but the lone pair cause an effect making it between sp2 and sp3 thus the angle it's between the value of 109.5 degrees for sp3 and the value of 120 degrees for sp2 ethanol and ethanoic acid were added to a reaction vessel and q was calculated before equilibrium was reached state the relationship between the values of q and kc equilibrium or equilibrium was uh, before equilibrium was reached it means the equilibrium has not reached yet so the concentration of reactant still bigger than concentration of product therefore q it's uh, smaller than kc okay use section 13 of the data booklet to calculate the enthalpy change for the forward reaction so the delta h would be delta h reactant minus delta H product, the reaction is CH3, COOH, react with, um, react with ethanoic acid, CH3, so ethanoic acid react with ethanol, CH3, CH2OH will produce ester, CH3, COOC, H2CH3 and H2O. So if you refer to the section uh, 13, so the product, sorry, the reactant, so the reactant is the ethanol, so you get negative 874. So for ethanol, that would be negative 1367 minus minus um, 2238 okay so it should be negative so negative 2238 then you get negative 3 kilojoule per mole Use your answer to 3 to predict and explain how the value of Kc and the equilibrium yield of the ester will change with increasing temperature. 
so ch3 cooh plus ch3 ch2oh produce ch3 cooch2 ch3 plus h2o delta h is negative 3 so it's exothermic for forward reaction endothermic for reverse reaction as the temperature increase it will favor endothermic because it will absorb temperature so if it's endothermic it's favored so the equilibrium will shift this should be equilibrium so we'll shift to left so the yield will decrease kc will also decrease so the answer will be kc decreases and equilibrium equilibrium shift left as an endothermic reaction is favored a student titrates a 10 centimeter cube a liquid of balsamic vinegar against 0 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide producing the following titration curve explain why ethanoic acid cannot act as a lewis acid because ethanoic acid cannot it cannot accept lone pair but can only donate a proton label point a point a will be half equivalent point which is here is pka and this one uh, equivalent equivalence point the acidity of vinegars is measured by determining the mass of ethanoic acid in 100 centimeter cube of vinegar solution the volume of NOH at point B is 21.3 cm3 with a concentration of 0 0.5 molar. Calculate the number of moles of ethanoic acid in the 10.0 cm3 aliquot. So we can calculate actually the mole of NOH. So N of NOH it's C times V which is 0 0.5 times 0 0.02 13 you get 0 0.0107 mole okay when we make the cut the equation ch3coh plus naoh you will produce ch3coona and h2o so the coefficient of uh, sodium hydroxide is the same with the ethanoic acid so mole of ethanoic acid it's 0 0.0107 mole as well. Calculate the acidity of percent W of uh, per V of the balsamic vinegar. This means mass. Okay. So to calculate mass, it's mole times MR. But uh, here we need to find if it's in 100 centimeter cube. So zero. 0 0.01 0 0.0107 mole of CH3COOH in centimeter and 10 centimeter cube if we want to find out in 10 uh, sorry 100 centimeter cube so multiple 100 centimeter cube and this one 10 centimeter cube then you will get 0 0.107 mole CH3COOH in 100 centimeter cube so the acidity which is I said mass so that would be N times MR which is 0 0.107 times molecular mass of um, vinegar which is 60 and you get 6.43%. Okay. Predict the pH at 
point A using section 21 of the data booklet and explain your reasoning. Point A, point A is PKA. PKA, the same with PH. Okay, so based on the section 21, PKA of vinegar is 4.76. So PKA equal to PH. So PH will be 4.76. State with a reason if bromothymol blue is an appropriate indicator for this titration. For bromothymol blue, the pH range is 6.0 until 7.6. And you know this curve, it's between weak acid to uh, with strong base. So the pH it's bigger than 7, a lot bigger than 7 is around 8 to 11. So definitely bromothymol blue cannot be used. And also there is no sharp rise in pH near the equivalence point. What I mean is the sharp, it should be a like this, a like this, okay? So the equivalence point will be around 7, so between the strong acid and then uh, strong base. But this in this case, it's weak acid and strong base. So that's what I mean. There is no sharp rise in pH near the equivalence point. Because if there is sharp rise, it is a titration between strong acid and strong base. But in this question, or in this case, it's between weak acid and strong base which the pH oh sorry equivalent point is um, pH bigger than 7 so it's around 8 to 10 something like this compound Z is a colorless liquid with an unpleasant smell it is found naturally in some plants such as vanilla the full structural formula of compound Z is shown state the IUPAC name of compound Z the IUPAC name, this is carboxylic acid, and we start with 1, 2, 3. So the alkyl will be at number C, number 2. So the name would be 2 methyl propanoic acid. Okay, state. The number of sigma and pi bonds in compound, this compound. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 1 pi bond. So 13 sigma and 1 pi. The pH of aqueous solution of compounds that differs from that pure from that of pure water explain this observation because compound compound that contains COOH group that will dissociate and donate H plus so the pH would be slightly decrease decrease or less than 7 compound Z is produced by reacting compound X with potassium dichromate as shown compound Y is an intermediate of the reaction so this is the oxidation of secondary alcohol no, primary alcohol, sorry, primary alcohol. So when it is oxidized, will produce aldehyde and then carboxylic acid. So we just copy it down here. CH3, CH, CH3, C, double bond, O, and H. The infrared spectrum of one compound in the reaction mixture is shown, this one. 
using section 26 of the data booklet state the compound that produced this spectrum and give two reasons for your answer so around this which is OH okay so OH present OH at 3200 to 3600 centimeter to the power negative 1 because it's OH okay so for uh, carboxylic acid sorry alcohol 3200 to 3600 okay so it's alcohol the first one so it's compound X so it's compound X so there is OH at 3200 to 3600 uh, centimeter to the power negative one and there is no no C double bond O that's why the compound it's X because Y and Z aldehyde and aldehyde obviously no because there is OH so carboxylic acid compound Z but there is no carbonyl present so that's why it's compound X compound Y can be separated from compound X and Z by fractional distillation of the reaction mixture explain how differences in the intermolecular bonding of compound X Y and Z allow compound Y to be removed by fractional distillation compound Y it's aldehyde it's more volatile as it does not contain hydrogen bond there is no OH yeah the X is alcohol and then Z is carboxylic acid where the other compounds X and Z have higher boiling point due to containing hydrogen bond when one when pent one in reacts with HBr there are two possible products A and B identify the major product of the reaction that would be product B why because product B product B it's form via secondary carbocation which is more stable than the primary carbocation that would produce A. So primary carbocation the C that attached to BR only attached to one alkyl but secondary carbocation it attached to two alkyl this and then this one so it is more stable compared to the primary carbocation that's why uh, a product that is formed through the secondary carbocation is more or stable or as a major product compared to the primary carbocation draw a mechanisms for the formation of one of the products okay so uh, that would be C and H H C C H 2 C H 2 C H 3 and then H so with H B R so this will attract to here as the electrophilic center and then BR will split so it will form the carbocation so C and then C plus so this will be H CH2 CH2 CH3 so BR minus as a nucleophile will very fast to react with secondary carbocation so we'll produce CH3 CH2 CH BR CH2 CH2 and CH3 a student adds excess zinc pellets to 100 centimeter cube of 0 0.1 molar 
HNO3 in a beaker. The student tracks the reaction's progress by monitoring the mixture's pH in the beaker over time. The data is collected and graphed. Draw a line of the gra on the graph showing how the pH would change if a solid strip of zinc with equal mass was added to the nitric acid rather than zinc pellets. So now we have two. Zinc pellets and then zinc trips, uh, strips with the equal of uh, with the equal mass but only the difference is for the pellet it has a large surface area so it has a faster rate compared to the uh, solid strip that has small surface area so the rate will be slower therefore the graph will be uh, sorry let me just make it the graph will be like this it will end at the same point because the students use the same uh, mass so this one steeper because it's a zinc pellet and this one shallower because it's a zinc strip so the reaction is slower the change of pH over time is related to the disappearance of the HNO3 if the rate of disappearance is HNO3 is determined to be 5.53 times 10 to the power negative 3 mole per decimeter cube second to the power negative 1. What is the rate of appearance of zinc 2 plus ions? So zinc plus HNO3 will produce zinc NO3 2. So this will produce Zn2 plus, so Zn with HNO3, sorry, Zn2 plus N, N, NO3, okay, minus. Zn, it's uh, 1, HNO3 is 2. So HNO3 ratio Zn2 plus will be 2 ratio 1. So the the rate of appearance when zinc is uh, reacted with uh, HNO3 that would be 5.53 times 10 to the power negative 3 times 1 mole of zinc divided by 2 mole of HNO3 you get 2.27 times 10 to the power negative 3 mole decimeter to the power negative 3 s to the power negative 1 okay propose an observation of a different substance in this chemical reaction that could be used to determine the rate of reaction describe both the substance observed and the measurement taken so we can actually observe you know it produce um, hydrogen gas so we can actually do the experiment to observe the production of hydrogen gas volume using water displacement okay the mass of hydrogen gas hydrogen hydrogen gas could be measured with sufficient sufficient scale and let the reaction is run in an in an open container On the energy profile diagram below, label lines A and B, then state if the reaction is endothermic or exothermic and justify your response. So A will be um, activation energy. Okay. And then this one will be enthalpy change, which is delta H and is negative. So this one will be exothermic as the delta H 
decreases. If the energy profile diagram above represents the reaction with a catalyst, sketch how the curve would change if the reaction proceed without catalyst. So the activation energy should be higher, but the delta H will not change. So you should go down here, okay? So this one, Ea without catalyst. One of the main components of the aluminum ore bauxite is aluminum oxide. The ore may be converted to useful materials using both chemical and electrochemical process. Aluminum oxide reacts with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide to form sodium tetrahydroxoaluminate. The equation for this reaction is below. State the coefficient A, B, C in this equation. That would be 2 for NaOH, and then 3 for H2O, and then 2 for NaAlOH4. Draw the Lewis structure of the Al AlOH4 minus. That would be Okay. State the O A L O bond angle in the A L O H four minus. It will be one hundred nine point five degrees because it has four domains, so it is tetrahedral and the bond angle is one hundred nine point five degrees. State why aluminum oxide does not act as a bronsted lauric acid in this reaction. Because you know when aluminum oxide react with base we can call aluminum oxide as, as as an acid because it reacts with a strong base but actually there is no proton is transfer between between ALO Al2O3 and NaOH this is what we call um, photheric ALO Al2O3 is amphotheric it can act as a both base and acid but it's not amphiprotic that is able to donate and accept proton the apparatus used to convert aluminum oxide to pure to pure aluminum metal is shown write a half equation for the reduction of this dissolved aluminum ion so aluminum Three plus so for reduction gaining electron produce al l so this one should be cryolite for aluminum three plus okay then this one al liquid explain using section 26 of the data booklet why the production of aluminum is an example of electrolysis Section 26, it's the uh, reactivity series. In the reactivity series, aluminum is higher than carbon. In the reactivity series. So, an input energy is required to make the reaction occurs. The standard enthalpies of formation for selected reactants and products are given in the table. Calculate the enthalpy change of the reaction in kilojoule per mole using section 12. So for delta HFCO2, it's negative 303.5. So delta HR will be product minus reactant, which is 3 times 393.5 plus 4 times 10 minus 2 times 1000, negative 1456 
equal to 1701.5 kilojoule per mole we just use this reaction okay for al there is no delta hf because it is a free element state the name given to a metal containing more than one element its alloy Explain why the replacement of aluminum with lithium atom increases the strength of the material using section 9 of the data booklet. Okay, from the section 9 data, section 9 data booklet, the atomic radius of Li is 130 times 10 to the power negative 12 meter. And for Al is 124 times 10 to the power negative 12 meter. And you can see that the atomic radius of Al is smaller compared to Li. So, why the replacement of aluminum with lithium atoms increases the strength of the material? Because lithium has a larger atomic radius than aluminum. So, the layer, now it becomes a bit dense because the atomic radius of Li is bigger so they, the layer cannot slide over each other easily so as the layer cannot slide over each other easily it cannot be bent or hammer or it cannot be uh, drawn into a wire so it is more dense or it is more strength or it is more hard suggest why the replacement of aluminum with lithium atom affect the melting point lithium has a lower number number of delocalized electron as it has only one valence electron compare to Al aluminum that has three valence electron thus the attraction the attraction between cations and the localized electron is weaker causing decreases in melting point a chloroalkane reacts with sodium iodide in propanone a polar apertic solvent the reaction occurs via SN2 mechanisms and generate sodium chloride as solid byproduct. Name a technique that could be used to separate the sodium chloride byproduct from the reaction mixture. So it's filtration because it can be used to separate an insoluble solid from liquid. So this is insoluble solid from liquid. Do draw the structure of product A including its stereochemistry. So this C uh, I this would be H this would be CH2 CH3 this would be CH3 when the polar protic solvent form a mite is used instead of propanone an SN1 reaction mechanism is favored. Explain why an SN1 mechanism is favored under this reaction condition. Because the polar protic solvent forms hydrogen bond which can interact strongly with the iodide okay as a nucleophile and this 
decreases attraction to electrophile or alkane chloro alkane okay so the rate of reaction will be uh, faster gases alkanes x y and z react with hydrogen gas over a finely ground metal catalyst second order rate constant for the reaction of alkene x were measured over a range of temperature used to draw an arrhenius plot okay so this is the graph using the information in the arrhenius plot and section one of the data booklet estimate the value len a for the reaction of alkene x to one decimal point okay let's recall len k equal to negative eight activation energy divided by r one over t plus len a so this will be y equal to mx plus b b is the y intercept so the y intercept will be right here which is 14.5 Alkin Y is more complex than Alkin X, but reacts with the same activation energy. State how the use of Alkin Y instead of Alkin X would affect the slope and the Y intercept of the Arrhenius plot. Len K equal to AA divided by R plus 1 over T times 1 over T plus Len A. So this would be Y mx plus b okay so think that y intercept or b equal to len a okay and then slope equal to negative ea over r okay so a is a pre-exponential factor which is complexity of reaction and probability of successful collision if alkene x more complex than alkene y so the len a would decrease right because it is more complex but in the reaction it has the same activation energy so activation energy will stay the same but for len a it will decrease as the same with y intercept because it is more complex as a it is a pre-exponential factor that will decrease if, the, if it's more complex and the probability of successful of collision also will decrease so y intercept will decrease therefore the answer is the slope would stay the same y intercept will decrease an aqua solution of the VH2O63 plus complex ion strongly absorbs light with a wavelength of 610 nanometer. Explain why an aqua solution of the VH2O63 plus ion appears blue in color using section 17 of the data booklet. It is the complementary uh, color. It appears as a blue color because it absorbs orange light as complementary to blue to blue in the color wheel during a reduction oxidation reaction the vh2o63 plus ion is converted to a different complex ion x the oxidation state of vanadium changes during the reaction, but the ligands in the complex ion remain the same. Complex ion X absorbs light with a lower frequency than VH2O63+. Using section 14 of the data booklet, explain what the change in frequency of absorbed light indicates about the oxidation state of vanadium in complex ion X. Because a lower frequency...
associate with a longer wavelength and lower energy. It means that there is a decrease in there is a decrease in oxidation state which causes smaller splitting in the d or beetle thus the oxidation state in x is plus 2 because this is plus 3 okay using section 24 of the data booklet calculate the standard cell potential so e cell reduction minus oxidation so cr2 o2 o72 minus that would be positive 1.36 and we've got ag plus 0 0.80 so this will be 1.36 minus 0 0.80 which is 0 0.56 volt predict with a reason whether this reaction is spontaneous or not yes it's spontaneous because the standard potential cell is positive using section one and two of the data booklet calculate the standard gips free energy change in kilojoule per mole delta g which will be negative n f e this will be six times 96,500 times 0 0.56 will be negative 324.240 joule or negative 324.2 kilojoule per mole. Y6, okay, so this is what you need to, to do. So the reaction would, the reaction is, is on C, okay. I will just do it here. So Cr two O two Cr two O O seven two minus becomes Cr three plus. Okay. So this Cr two. So this should be two. And now we don't have oxygen on the right. Oxygen is seven. So seven H two O. And now should be fourteen plus right here because 7H2 the charge will be negative 2 and plus 14 so therefore is plus 12 and here it's plus 6 so we need 6 more electron that's why here it's 6 electron the standard entropy change for this reaction is 508J per K mole Using section 1 of the data booklet, calculate the standard enthalpy change for this reaction. Delta G, it's delta H minus T delta S. So delta H will be delta G plus T delta S, which is negative 324.2 kilojoule per mole plus mm, the, 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 temperature will be standard enthalpy okay so the temperature would be 298 times 508 divided by 1000 because it's in joule should be in kilojoule and it will be negative 173 kilojoule per mole all right so that's all for the explanation Prediction questions for the standard level, sorry, higher level paper 2. If you find this video is helpful for your 
exam preparation or to check whether you are ready for the exam or treat this as a mock test don't forget to subscribe and let your other friend knows about my channel thank you for watching and bye